It's race day, obviously. I'm very tired. Morning races. There's afternoon and evenings. What are we doing morning races for? This is just stupid. Anyway, uh, I'm not in as good shape as I was last time, to be honest with you. Uh, but I have a strategy. And that strategy is, it's four parts. The first part is, I am going to suffer. Uh, it's going to be... Every part of that race is going to hurt. It's going to suck really bad. But I'm willing to suffer to get a good time. The second part is trust. I am going to trust that the army run has qualified paramedics there to revive me after I come first so I can bask in my glory. The third part, we're not sure yet. But the fourth step, that's profit. I've been here for a week now trying to acclimatize myself with the surroundings. Um, Lewis has been trying to sabotage me since I got here. My alarm went off this morning at 2 o'clock. I got up, had breakfast, realized it's only 2 o'clock. I'm not supposed to get up till 6. When I really get up, I can't find my running shoes. Again, Lewis hit them, trying to sabotage me. Mind games. All week has been mind games. We're here now picking up uh, the defending champion. That's not me. Not him. Not me. That guy, defending champion, 2011. That's right. What's I, up? As you can see, he's very cocky, very proud of himself, That's very sure of himself. Okay with my time, finished in 23:21, better than in the spring when I ran 25:21 and got beat by Possumai. Worst thing ever. Uh, but I did beat Possumai's time in the spring since he wasn't able to actually attend the race because he's in Milan. Uh, his time in the spring was 24. It doesn't matter, it didn't change. It was a terrible time. He was proud of it. I just had a really terrible time in the spring, but I ran it faster today, so I beat him basically. It's a good race. My hat's off. Lewis, Aaron, Haluka, Daryl, and young Trevor, they all beat me. It's always next year. Okay, so uh, it was a rough one this year because uh, as you guys saw, you saw the last vlog, Delusion and G. We shot that all week and we had a lot of fun all week and me and Ben have been living resort style for a week. So it was a tough one to get up for. Didn't get a lot of sleep, ate too, way too much food, had some uh, patio drinks, did my training at the bar, but I uh, felt good out there. Uh, tried to just told myself to keep passing people, keep passing people, and I did. And I got 22:37, which is five seconds off my best time. 
not the greatest. But hats off to Mike Luca, beat me by five seconds. And hats off to my nephew, Trevor Zuccato, who pretty much destroyed all of us. So, kind of feeling my age. And uh, hats off to the rest of the competitors. The uh, not quite champ here. Was beat by a 12 year old. He's, he's not 12 yet. Okay. <laughs> 11 and a half year old. <laughs> but I still beat the rest of you, so that's okay. Right? Well, I stuck real close to the, uh, the pace bunny, the 22 and a half minute pace bunny. Uh, made it through the first maybe half the race, uh, right next to that guy, and then I had to slow it up a bit. Uh, uh, and then, you know, I think I could have given it more at the end, uh, but I didn't know uh, how close I was to the end. I think you might have some good footage there uh, of me. This would be great for you to kind of play this footage while you have my voice on you. Have you ever gone to sleep with old Eric? And woke up with old Eric. <laughs> you drunk so much. <laughs> you thought that she was the most beautiful girl you ever did see. <laughs> Have you ever gone to sleep with old Eric? And woke up with old Italy. <laughs> okay, I had two goals. Uh, under 30 minutes and for Kathy to see me at the end and I got both of those goals So that worked and at the end CTV came and interviewed me. I dragged Ben in there They didn't ask him for interview, but they came to see me. So I'm here with the uh, Army run Lewis's race blog champion Trevor Zaccato. Hi. Tell us tell us uh, how your race went T Well, I guess it went well I was Kind of getting tired at the half point, but then I got a water break, so I had a drink. It was nice and cold, so I splashed myself all over. Then I felt energetic and good, and started running faster. I ran into some people I knew at the race, and uh, I told them that he beat me, and they were like, I saw that kid. He was zipping in and out everybody. <laughs> well done, man. Good job. Now, I remember at the beginning, you were running beside Ben. Tell us what happened there. Well... I was running beside Lewis and saw Ben and went running beside him. Then I saw that we were going at too slow a pace. So then I went faster. Ben was going too slow for him. So was I. Uh, he's the new champion. Welcome to Trevor's Race Blog. Good night, everybody. Uh, at the end of the race, a little bonus, as you might have saw in the race blog, myself and Lisa got interviewed by CTV, some national news possibly. Did a big uh, plug for Lewis Race Blog, and they ate it up. I'm sure it's going to be national headline tonight. So if you want to get in on this, ground level time, now's the day. Okay, after today, don't even try to get in on this action, because it ain't going to happen. It's going to the roof. Getting better? Has his time gotten better this time from last time? It did, it got better from last time, right? Well, last time was horrible. It wasn't like me, like, I got a personal best this time. Did he get a personal best? Probably not, no. Alright, maybe next year, Ben. Did you say the first one again? Oh, man. <laughs>